back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. And I've been asked to answer this question, which is from the textbook of the Pure Mathematics P3 International A-Level at Excel. And this is from chapter four. This is um, trig addition formulae. And this is um, exercise 4D question one part C. And here we are asked to solve in the interval between zero and 360 um, the following equations, giving the answers to one decimal place. So we have these compound angles, cosine theta plus 25 plus sine theta plus 65 equals 1. So we'll start off by using our expansions that we should know for the addition formulae. So we have um, two of them, cosine A plus or minus B. You end up with cosine A times cosine B. If it's plus, there'll be a minus, then sine A times sine b this is in the formula book and if there's a minus there's a minus between them and for the sine of a plus b we we see from the formula book this is the sine of the first angle times the cosine of the second angle if it's a plus it's a plus here as well and then you have the uh, cosine of the first angle times the sine of the second angle it's kind of like the other way around if there's a minus is a minus so this will give you cosine of theta um cosine of theta times the cosine of 25 minus the sine of theta times the sine of 25 that's expanding this part then you have plus and here you have the sine of theta times the cosine of 65 plus and then this time will be the cosine of theta times the sine of 65 the other way around equals 1 so you have to solve this equation. Now, a lot of people might get stuck here and they don't know what to do. But there's a very important relationship between angles that we should know from even from P2 to that the sine of an angle is the same ratio as the cosine of 90 minus that same angle and vice versa. The cosine of an angle is the same as the sine of 90 minus that angle. If it's in degrees, 90. If it's in radians, pi over 2. So, for example, if you had something like, um, say, the sine of 30, that's one of the ones we know for sure. We know that that's a half. And we know that the cosine of 60 is also a half. They give you the same ratio. But it works for other things, like the sine of 10 will give you 0 0.1736. And the cosine of, of 80, because... 80 and 10 add up to 90 the cosine of 80 should give you the same thing so cosine of 80 gives you exactly the same thing the same for any two angles that add up to 90 degrees the sine of one of them will be the, the same as the cosine of the other so what we can do here is we can try to create some like terms and then be able to solve this so for example i can replace the cosine 25 with sine 65 so I can write this as cosine of theta times the sine of 65. And minus, I can call this um, the cosine of 65. So I can say this is the sine of theta times the cosine of 65. Now I have everything in terms of 65. So this is going to be the sine of theta times the cosine of 65. And this is plus the cosine of theta times the sine of 65. And that's equal to 1. So here we have these two terms now, minus sine theta cosine 65 plus sine theta cosine 65. Well, they will become zero because they're the negative versions of each other. You add them together, you get zero. And you're left with cosine theta sine 65 and cosine theta sine 65. Those are like terms. So you have two cosine theta sine 65 equals 1. So now we can say that means the cosine of theta is equal to 1 over 2 times the sine of 65. So now we can solve this equation by finding the inverse cosine of, of this ratio, 2 sine 65, 1 over 2 sine 65. So theta will equal, so we take our calculator and we make sure we're in degree mode, we say inverse cosine put our fraction 1 over and we have 2 sine 65 2 times the sine of 65 degrees and that should give us one solution which is 56.517 56.517 degrees 
and the other solution is going to be for cosine 360 minus this so you're going to have 360 minus this angle 360 minus our answer which gives us 303.482 303.482 degrees okay um now we want to give the answer to one decimal place so therefore our final answers are going to be 56.5 degrees and 303.5 degrees so those are our solutions so the key to answer this question is to understand this very important point here okay so i'm i try to express them as like terms then i can cancel them out and combine like terms and then i have something with only one unknown okay so that's how we dealt with that question so that's a very important principle because 25 and 65 they add up to 90. so a lot of questions like this um you know always check to see you know the relationship with the, these angles if they add up to 90 you can do this and it helps you to answer the question all right so there's the answer to this question i hope that was clear other questions from this particular um, chapter of the book from the textbook if i answer them will be found in the playlist over here from chapter four of p3 other questions from uh, trig addition formulae and trig from p3 in general will be found in the playlist over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch the video which is linked here for you to see how to use my channel in an effective manner thank you for watching and see you soon